<laughs> you, uh, you didn't like the penalty call against CP in the, in the previous game. What about this one against Vanderbilt? Did, huh. did you talk to him about comment to them? Oh, yeah. And, you know, it was a unique situation. He saw a penalty flag and, you know, turned around and knew he was going to score and was wondering what the penalty was and, you know, was upset about it. And it looked like he was taunting, but he wasn't. He was very innocent on the play, I thought, and that's what he said. And you can see his actions on the field it was not one that he was trying to taunt anybody. And, you know, the officials you know, looked at it as he was trying to back up into the end zone, but he was just looking at the other penalty flag that was thrown up way up in the air. And it was the craziest thing I've probably ever seen. But, no, we've talked to him numerous times about that. What's the situation like in practice? Have you noticed a difference in the players? Uh, are they distracted this week? Do you think they were last week? You know, um, I, I've, I'm really proud of the players. And, you know, a lot of them are out there giving everything they got to go beat Kentucky. And that's what we've been preaching, and that's what we have out there. And they want to go win this football game for the seniors. And you see a lot of guys giving a lot of effort ready to go win this football game. You've been in a situation where a coach was relieved before the season's over. Yes, I have. And how, how, how did you deal with that? And does that experience help you this time around? Um, yeah, it, it's a situation. It's obviously one that you, you know, you have to deal with it. But you, you got to mentally put it aside and go get ready to coach a football game. And also, same thing with the players is, is communicate with them and talk to them through the situation that, guys, it's just like if you were going to go out and play ping pong, if you're going to go out and play chess, if you're going to go out and play tennis, if you're going to go out and do volleyball. If you're going to go play, you're going to go play a pickup basketball game in the rec. How are you going to play? What are you going to do? Are you going to go compete? What is your what is your mindset? And that's what you got to focus on. When that ball is rolled out on Saturday, we're going to be playing a football game. So that's what you got to be focusing on and take everything else out of it because it doesn't matter because you can't control anything. I can't control all the things that are happening, but you can control your actions on the field. And we've done a good job this week of going out there and practicing hard, getting ready to beat Kentucky. But would you appeal to players that, look, this is this is like you're auditioning for the next coach. You need to go play hard. You need to show whoever the next guy is that, that you're willing to put forth an effort, even though there's a distraction. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. You, every time you take a snap, it's your resume. It's who you are. And what is your resume going to say for the underclassmen? And then seniors, how are you going to leave the field on your last day leaving the in the stadium? Um, and walking out of it, and what do you want to feel like when you leave it? And same thing with the with the underclassmen. How do, how is everybody going to remember you from this season and your situation? And you never know in life what's going to happen. Some of these guys, it could be their last snap. You never know. And go out there every opportunity you get, and go give everything you got. Coach, when it came to CP and those interceptions, was that just a miscommunication, or did he? So didn't get the right read. Uh, looked like he just went on a go, and it was more of a comeback or something. Well, it was a it was a really good play by the defensive back. He was reading Justin Worley on that play, and he was breaking to the route and guessing. And you know, kudos to them. They made a heck of a play. And CP could have ran a better route. You know, under the circumstances, he he saw the corner breaking on it and kind of adjusted his route. And Worley threw. Thought CP was going to break. You know, be, be outside farther, but. You rarely see a, a corner intercept the ball outside the DB like that. That was that was a good play by him, and you know Justin, you know, uh, you know threw the ball where he thought CP was going to be. So it was a situation that could have could a couple different things could have changed that. So, but uh, it was a good play by Vanderbilt. You have a couple of receivers who have decisions to make at the end of the season with Hunter and Patterson. Any advice? Have they gone to you for advice? Any advice you've given them? We've talked to them about guys. Let's finish this game. Finish this game, and then all that discussion will be discussed after this game. Darren, some of the, the players said that they felt the responsibility for Coach Dooley's dismissal. Do assistants feel that same sense of responsibility? Well, you know, I can only speak for myself. I, I gave everything I had every day for Coach Dooley and worked my tail off. And that's all I'm going to do for any coach. And under the circumstances, and there's a lot of things that I can't control as an assistant, um, decisions that are made, different different plays that are made, all these things that happen out there. And that's how I look at it is I'm going to give everything I got for whoever the head coach is. And I'm going to go work my butt off, and that's never going to change. It's hard for players to focus under a situation like this. Is it hard for assistants as well? Because you obviously you're worried about your future too. Sure. But when you're going to play a game, you worry about that game. You worry about it. And, you know, it's, it's our resume too. 
on what happens out on that football field. So that's what we're focused on right now. That's what we can control. And obviously we'll be in the, in the process of meeting with the new head coach when he gets here, and then we'll see what the situation is at that point. Is it easier said than done to stay focused Last on question. the upcoming game? Well, you know, the things that you can control, it is for me because, you know, I, I, I focus on what I can control. And I get to coach this game. I get to go coach my players. I get to go in a situation where I get to go be a Tennessee coach for one more game. And then we'll see what happens after that. And then I'll worry about that, and I'll go make all my connections and, and get ready for the next next phase in my, my life and my family's life after that situation. But right now, there's nothing to worry about because I can't control that. But I can coach this game the best I can and go out there and work hard. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.